Hi there, and welcome to Hyundai Power Products. My name's Adrian, and today we're going to look at this HY275-100 compressor. This is an oil-free compressor, and as you can see, really sturdy packaging. So I'm going to open the packaging, get the contents out of the box, so you can see exactly what you get. So as you can see, I've got the unit lead on its side. What I did was put the box over onto its side, and I've gently pulled the machine out onto the carpet here. I've left the plastic bag on for now. The reason I haven't put it upright is because of the outlet pipe. Until we've got the wheels and the feet on, the outlet pipe could clash on the ground. So I deliberately don't want to do that. I'll fit the wheels and I'll fit the rubber stoppers, then we'll stand the machine up. So I've laid the rest of the contents, obviously not the machine, out here on the table so you can see what's included and you can check there's nothing missing. So first of all, we have the two wheels. We have two air filters, two rubber feet, two bolts for those rubber feet, two larger bolts for the wheels. We do supply it with a pair of air fittings that fit into the outlet. And then there's two little plastic tubes that go with the air filters. We'll show you how they fit later. And last but not least, we have the user manual. Now we do recommend that you read the user manual thoroughly before use. So you will need a couple of tools to assemble your machine. If you've got adjustable spanners, that would be fine. But I've got two 17 mil spanners and I've also got a 14 mil spanner but obviously an adjustable spanner would do just as well. Okay, so taking one of the smaller bolts, I'll just remove the nut and one of the washers. Take a rubber foot, place the bolt down into the rubber foot with one washer and push it down through. So that's the base setup. I can put the rubber foot on, place the washer on the inside, do up the nut loosely to start with, and I'll repeat the operation for the bottom one. Okay, so I'm actually using a ratchet spanner for this. If you've got a 14 mil socket and a ratchet, um, much easier to do the bolt up from this side, but my spanner tightened down firmly. So if I take the larger bolts now, you can see it's pre-assembled. If I take the nut off, spring washer, the two washers and the spacer tube off, first of all, doesn't matter which way round the wheels go, they're the same both sides. I can fit the bolt then the spacer, the wide spacer, then one of the flat washers, and where are we? Pop it in the hole on the machine. So next, I put a washer on, a spring washer, then the nut. So with those in place, I'll just loosely fasten that. I'll use the 17 mil spanner on the inside, one on the outside, and whoop, tighten that bolt down into place. Now when it's correct, you'll see a little bit of float on the wheel. That aids with turning and stops it stiffening right up. But that is designed in. So exactly the same assembly method on the other side. I'll just pick the tank up, pop that in the hole, put the nut and washers on here, tighten up, and we're ready to put it upright. So the next thing we're going to fit is the air filter. So obviously the air filter, again, comes with this little plastic pipe, which fits in, as you can see, into there. Threaded hole, you'll see one threaded hole on each one of the two pumps. Screw it into place, conventional thread. Hand tight is more than enough. I'll do the same on the other side. So it's diagonally opposite, so one on that side and one diagonally opposite on this pump. Screw it into place. Again, hand tight is enough. That's the two air filters fitted. So we mentioned earlier that we do supply the two air connectors. So these are Euro fittings, the two outlets on this pump. There's one for each. You can connect up your own hose, whatever hose you're using, with your clip. And they're quick release, so there's no air in this tank, so it's perfectly safe. But if I just push in, you hear the sleeve click forward. That's connected to remove, push the sleeve back, and they get ejected. So we do supply two of these for reference. So to start and stop your compressor, it's very important you don't do it at the plug. We need to use this red button. So I'll make sure it's off, the red button is down. I'll remove the protector off the 13 amp plug and plug it into a standard domestic outlet socket. Once we've switched that socket on and we've got power to the machine, to switch it on, simply pull up on the red knob and the compressor will fire up. When you finish with it, end of the day, or you no longer need it, to stop the machine, don't pull the plug out, push down on the red knob and the motors will stop. So there are two gauges you'll see here on the outlet. 
This is the master gauge that tells you how much pressure is in the tank at any one time. And this is the outlet pressure, which you can gauge down. So there's a black knob on the top here. Fully clockwise will give you the same outlet pressure as is in the tank at any one time. If you want a lower pressure, unscrew anti-clockwise, the black knob on the top here, and the outlet pressure from the outlets will be less, depending on how far you rotate it, than the volume or pressure of air available in the tank. So when you're using a compressor, obviously with atmospheric conditions, you do get a buildup of water in the tank, and it's important that you drain that regularly. So we used to have a little screw nipple underneath the tanks. Again, you asked, we listened. It's now a simple tap with a piece of pipe. So in the vertical position with a little black tap, shuts the air off. When you want to drain the water, you can place this into a suitable container, turn the tap to horizontal, the tank will drain. I typically do that with low pressure in the tank, maybe one bar, something like that, at the end of a day. And the residual air pressure in the tank will blow the water at the bottom. When you start getting air out, you know you've got all the water, switch the tap back off again, and you've drained your tank. So as we said at the beginning, this is the 275100 model. We did do a 275 5 o, which was the 50 litre model, but with this larger tank you can always be sure when you need air there's plenty in the tank. I tell you what, why don't we plug it in and see exactly how quiet these things are. Okay, let's show you. Plug it in, switch it on. On off switch is down here. When I lift the on off switch, we've got our drain shut, it'll start up and you'll actually see, you will be able to hear me over the top of it running. So as it, I haven't changed my voice at all, that is how quiet the machine is. So what we will see is the air pressure building up in the machine. Both motors are running. Let's see. So while we're waiting for the pressure to build up, as you can see it's coming up now, I'll just show you how you can adjust the outlet pressure. So in the tank we've got, let's say, 7 bar. Obviously using this knob, I can change the outlet pressure. So if I unscrew it, I would have an outlet pressure of, let's say, 4 bar at that point. So obviously I can go down to two bar or I can turn it off altogether. So there's the adjustability of pressure on the outlet, regardless of what's in the tank. Okay, as you can see, we're up to eight bar now. When it reaches maximum pressure in the tank, the motors will cut off automatically. So at 10 bar, it'll switch off on its own. We'll see if we can demonstrate that. And there we are, it cut off at around about 10 bar, just above in this case. So I'm just going to let a bit of air go, and we'll see it cut back in again. There we are, cut back in. Well, I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit www.hyundaipowerproducts.co.uk. I've been Adrian, and thank you for watching.